I didn't precisely sign up to be in the Queen's service either, by the way. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. Hello there. I delivered the Bofu. Ah, yes. My beloved Bofu. Indeed you did. The Queen sent Bofu? Why am I asking that question when I am the one that delivered it myself? Oh, her delightful majesty. Yes, well, not quite the Queen. I may have hijacked your mission communications a tad. <laughs> just to imbue this delivery with some... I love energy. it. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to get set up to take out the SCA pirate base. But first, uh, we need to deliver these 50 units of Bofu uh, to Reaver Industries headquarters. So let's go into here, and we're going to select the Nemesis. We're going to go here. Um, I don't know if transferring the wares will work. Let's try that first and see if it works. Okay, and then if we go to the quest, Queen's Herald. No, it doesn't look like it registered, so we probably have to sell it. Yeah, we probably have to sell it. All right, so let's transfer those wares back. And instead, we'll right click and we'll go trade with yeah see now it's got the mission thingy on it there confirm okay and then okay so just traded and so now yeah deliver 50 units of bofu that's grayed out so now it wants us to talk to boso okay very cool um so let's Let's do that. Wonderful. First. The Bofu has arrived. Please visit me in my laboratory. Okay. I'm not planning on continuing, at least for Nemesis, now. Nemesis. Vanguard. Uh, the Boron quest line. We might get back to it later, but we've got a lot of other things to do, too. So uh, let's go uh, talk to Boso any, at least and just see what he has to say. But if they're going to send me off and do other stuff, I'm... Not going to be doing that stuff right now. At least not, that's not the plan. I didn't precisely sign up to be in the Queen's service either, by the way. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. Hello there. I delivered the Bofu. Ah, yes. My beloved Bofu. Indeed you did. The Queen sent Bofu? Why am I asking that question when I am the one that delivered it myself? Oh, her delightful majesty. Yes, well, not quite the queen. I may have hijacked your mission communications a tad. <laughs> just to imbue this delivery with some of I love it. <laughs> However, the Bofu shipment is very That's much hilarious. appreciated. It explains a lot, too. Incidentally, <laughs> your biosignature indicates somewhat elevated stress levels. It does? Fret not. I shall assist you by extricating my intervention from your mission communications. Indeed, I see you are behind on a number of very important royal duties. Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was not expecting that. Oh, that's funny. I thought the queen actually wanted me to do that for him to, to reward him for everything he did. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, does he have anything else to say? Hello there. Nope, just his hello there. Okay. All right, so we are now... What? Our connection was interrupted. The technicians have been able to figure out why, but the issue seems resolved. It's resolved. Let us get back on course in the pursuit of Her Majesty's diplomatic endeavors. Okay. You can find your current tasks in your mission manager. I'll choose which to pursue first and activate it for further guidance. Yeah, I'll get to that. <laughs> I'll get to that when I get to that. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. You gotta love these you know, these kind of open world open oh open mission games where you know there's like an urgency to do these quests but on the other hand you can wait and do them like three weeks later in real life if you want to um that noise that you just heard is an alarm that i set on a sanctuary of darkness so any of my ships that travel through that 
uh, through that system, I can um, direct along the beacons. However, I've already I've already done that for this trader. So I'm sending trader three up to Kingdom End to start trading. Um, just you know, just so we can trade and also to build rep. Uh, but he is like taking his sweet effing time, man. I don't know why the hell he's not using travel mode. Well, okay. It looks like he just kicked it in. But I, I literally, I kid you guys not, he's been in this system for probably over 30 minutes. Um, You know, since the last time I played until I just started the recording. So I have no idea why he hasn't been using travel drive until just now. But at least he is now. Uh, so anyway, the idea behind the alarm is that if any of my ships enter the system, it alerts me, and then I can come in here and I can set them a pathway to follow the beacons because... <laughs> oh, was another ship coming in? I think I need to change the interval of that. It happens a little too frequently. Um, in fact, let's do that right now. Let's go to global orders, and we want to go to alert one. And I want to set... Let's set the interval to five minutes instead of every one minute. Um, I can't remember what this... Oh, force repeat. Repeat alert after specified interval if the conditions are still met. Yeah, let's do it every five minutes so that way I know they're still there. But, but I had it on every one minute, which is a little too frequently. Anyway, uh, what I was... Okay, for Pete's sake... Um, so I sent a fighter through here with, before I set all this up and they did indeed just travel a straight line through here and they did take damage. They made it through because they were fast enough, but I noticed when I was watching them that there's a lot of like destroyed, um, ships through here, which is really weird because you think, you know, you'd think that the game would know that it should follow the beacon path, but it doesn't. So there was a whole bunch of Boron ships that had tried to travel through, and they bit the dust. Um, so anyway, again, the whole point being is that it doesn't matter if you're out of sector or not, that the ships will still take damage in this system. And so the only way that I could think of to safely get them through it is to guide them through and have the alarm let me know when they're there. So that's my solution for now. If there's a, a better solution, if you guys know if there's some way I can tell a ship to always follow beacons I'd like to know it but I don't know that there that you know that that capability is there okay anyway let's see here um let's take a look at our missions yeah so we got a whole bunch of boron missions that we can do but again we're going to kind of step away from that for the moment and work on some of our own priorities so let's get set up to head on over to the SEA base and uh, kick the crap out of those guys. Uh, so the basic idea is that I'm going to bring I'm going to bring the rattlesnake and the squadron of chimeras and the Cerberus over there, and I'm going to set up a kind of a blockade of laser towers before I engage the station. And that way, when the station, you know, sends the drones after us, uh, the laser towers will just annihilate the drones. And then we'll just start pounding on it with the rattlesnake. If, you know, because the rattlesnake's range is, is not that great, if we're in range of the station guns, then the first thing I'll do is I'll tell the fighters to take out the station's guns so that we can safely move into range and start taking it out. That's my general plan. Whether or not it actually works that smoothly, time will tell. But I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to get all of my ships over there and get it set up. And when we're ready to actually start the engagement, I'll bring you guys back at that point and uh, we'll give it a try and see what happens. See you in a bit. All right, guys, um, I'm staged about a little over eight and a half kilometers out from the pirate station. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump in my scout ship and we're going to go do a little bit of a Pegasus Vanguard uh, reconnoiter Greetings. here. Okay, 
Okay, so... Yeah, the station's still a little ways out, so let's head on over there. Uh, basically what I want to do is I want to see if I can figure out... Uh, what the armaments are... Um, on this station and, and what their range is. It would be good to know that in advance. So I think I'll be able to do that, but just by getting close enough to him. Okay, so that's a generator. Yeah, I get maybe not. Maybe it's not going to let me know what the range is on those. Hmm. Okay. Well, the defenses are each of these four, you know, disc platforms here. And there's two or uh, three over here, actually. So I f I'm thinking probably the best approach is going to be to come from this direction. Uh. Rattlesnake. Oh, what are you doing? I forgot to take him off of his default orders. <clears throat> uh, rattlesnake. Yeah, remove that order. And get back into more or less this position here. Glad I noticed that before he, <laughs> he got all the way back into the other sector. Uh, okay, so yeah, I guess that's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to just scan those guns and figure out exactly what they are. Um, if we go to... The pirates are probably looking out the window going, what in the heck's going on here? As if it isn't obvious. They should be shooting at me right now if they were smarter. Um, let's see. Military. Weapons. Um, no. I, I don't, we need turrets, not weapons. Turrets. I mean, I don't, it probably, we're probably talking like large plasma turrets for Talati. Um, and their range is 8.6 kilometers, which is, let's see, the beam turret is only 2.6 kilometers. If they have gravitons, Awaiting orders. those are 5.2 kilometers. So I'm just kind of looking at all the large ones. So the plasma's got the longest range, which makes the most sense, because that's the same as it is on my ship, too. My plasma turrets actually can outrange my main guns. Um. Okay, so we, we, we should probably figure about 8.6 kilometers, because I'm pretty sure some of those are going to be plasma turrets. And then anything else, let's see, the plasma does 3710, the graviton does twice as much damage, but it's also um, not, not quite the same range either. Okay. Um, all right, so knowing that, or at least assuming that at this point, um, we're probably going to set up just outside of the plasma turret range. And I'm <clears throat> I have laser towers on the rattlesnake, but I think I'm gonna actually use the ones in the Cerberus because it's gonna be easier for me to to put those in place. And I'm just waiting for the Cerberus to get over here. It's actually not here yet. Requesting immediate backup. So if we turn around and then target the station from here. Pirate base. Oh, wow, that's like way 
way ways. Okay. Um, and, and I think I'm going to approach it from up high too, because if I get down lower, then we might have to contend with the turrets on the underneath side of the discs as well. So let's get maybe to right about here ish. Go this way a little more. Requesting immediate backup. Okay, so if we approach it more or less from this direction, theoretically anyways, we should only have to contend with the turrets in the front discs on top and maybe the front ones on the bottom. If we got higher, then we might have to deal with the turrets on the back discs too. Okay, now let's move a little closer. Okay, so that's 8.6 kilometers right there. So they're plasma turrets. <clears throat> I mean, it depends upon where exactly that 8.6 kilometers is registering from. Um, so we probably, to be a little safer, we should probably go out to about nine clicks. Right about here. To set up our wall of laser towers. <clears throat> and then any drones that the station sends at us will just get pulverized by the laser towers. Okay, so um, that is my strategy. So I'm gonna start setting this up and uh, we'll bring you guys back. Uh, probably we'll bring you back until we're ready to actually start the party, um, unless I have a, a good reason to bring you back before then. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are back and ready to uh, start our attack here. So I have set up a wall of laser towers, as you can see, off over this way. Um, so, whoop, hold on. There, so you can see, hopefully you can see that we have, oh, probably close to 40 or so laser towers set up in four rows of a wall. Um, <clears throat> and they're kind of more to the right side of the station. Um, my, I pretty much have all of my fleet standing by over here. Uh, the two uh, medium ships, so the Nemesis and the Cerberus are all kind of protecting that particular area. And then I have the fighters just sitting there not doing anything uh, with any assignments at the moment. Um, because what I want to try and do first before we involve them, because I, you know, we could lose some of these guys if they get, get into the fray, is the idea is that we attack the base with the rattlesnake, and once its turrets start firing on us, you know, we just back up just slightly out of range, and then when it starts sending drones after us, then the laser towers take out the drones, um, and so that's kind of the basically. The, the plan here, and we'll see how, how well we can do. Um, okay, so I want to put my turrets on attack. My current enemy, but I want the small turrets to be attack fighters. Well, yeah, attack fighters specifically. I'm sure drones are considered fighters. Oh, actually, are they? I'm sure they would be. I suppose we could just keep these guys on attack all enemies. If we get really close to the station, they might attack the station, but it probably isn't going to be an issue. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start moving into range here. Our main forward batteries have a range of 6.7 kilometers, I think it is. Um, Okay, looks like, yeah, looks like we're in range now. Uh, so what I want to actually do, I think if this station has 
uh, plasma turrets, um, then you know their range is out to 8.8. .8, so we'll have to, like I said, we'll have to go in, shoot a little bit, back up, recharge our shields, go in, shoot a little bit, back up, recharge our shields, etc., etc. And I should have. I should have a repair drones. Oh. I thought I restocked my repair drones. Apparently I haven't. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully we won't need them to finish the fight. <laughs> That's not good. Um, all right, so yeah, what I wanted to actually do is I want to target this first weapons platform uh, that's on the left hand side um, <clears throat> so we're probably let's see can I yeah okay so that that has a surface element on it and it shows us that we're definitely in range of that platform um, could even back up just a little bit maybe let's get out to about six kilometers Or however far out we can get and still be in range, I suppose. I think it's like 6.4 or something like that. It'll sh show us here in a second. Okay, 6.3. Is when it... When we got out of range. So let's just... Let's go ahead and go right about here. Okay, so that should be good. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start this party. Okay, so now, now they just turned this enemy on us. Let's dip down Roman. a little bit so our our front uh, or side uh, plasma turrets can hit. And let's just keep wailing on this weapons platform and see if we can get it taken out. Our main batteries to cool down a little bit. Okay. What I'm gonna actually do is. Oh, so those guys are attacking the, the pier. Okay, while they're doing that, let's keep going after this weapons platform. I'm using my mouse to direct the fire right at the weapons platform. You know, it's not firing back at us, so... Oh, there we go. Boom. They're not firing back at us, so they must not have plasma turrets on this station, which is good. Good for us. Um, do we have any drones coming after us yet? They're out, but they're not, they don't seem to be coming after me, which is interesting. Okay. Um, let's move. Explosion imminent. Okay, there goes the pier. Did that explosion mess up their own drones? I don't know. Looks like they're, s it's like they don't know what the heck to do. Okay, let's start working on this next weapons platform. Explosion imminent. There goes the habitation. Negative? <laughs> it's like, no, you're not getting attacked. You just think you are. Well, that's hilarious. Okay, there goes the next weapons platform. Looks like our turrets are now going after the storage modules, so let's help them out. Explosion imminent. 
All right, what are the drones doing? They haven't even come after us. That is weird, man. They're, it's like they're derping out. They don't know what to do. I mean, that's working in our favor, but it, it's it's just weird. Okay, um, can we start attacking this further platform? It's a little further out. Imagine, you know what's probably going to happen is if we get a little bit closer, the drones are going to probably attack. And then if that happens, we'll back up and let the laser towers take them. Okay, here they come. All right, so let's just back up. Yep, yeah, they're coming now. Okay. If I would have known that this station didn't have plasma turrets, I would have put the laser towers a lot closer. But I didn't know. I, I figured they... I assumed they did. Assumed the worst, you know? Um... Okay. Laser tower, Mark two. Alright, we are now... Oh, whoops. Next to the laser towers. And there they go. Going to town on the drones. Annihilated. Nice. So looks like they put a a build station down there. Yeah, it's not gonna do them any good. Thanks for your help. By the time we're done, there's not gonna be anything left. Okay. Let's watch the laser towers go to work here. Talk to Liu Kapoor? Here. Let's um Let's get into this view for a second so we can see the laser towers in action better. <laughs> Wall of death, baby. Wall of death. Okay. Is that it for the drone? Okay, there's still a few there, so let's move in again and see if we can kite them back this way too. Because at some point it's going to run out of drones. Pirate base. Start aiming for this next weapons platform. Stop your attack. Security forces. This is Center Security. Comes channel open. Reporting an attack against this station. Negative. No drones coming. Negative. It's like <laughs> it's like they don't believe him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. There it goes. Nice. Okay. Kablooey. Now let's take a look. Yeah, he's only got a handful of drones left. Look at all the dead drones already. So... Alright, let's do the same thing. We're gonna... Move in a little closer and start targeting this next weapons platform. That's probably close enough. Yeah, their lasers are hitting us, so let's back up a little bit. Okay, let's see, let's see if that's good enough. I'm pretty sure we're still hitting their platform there. I'm not sure why my turrets. Explosion there it goes. I'm not sure why my turrets aren't doing anything though. Danger. Very cool. Okay, we have one more weapons platform to take out. Um, and then once that's done, then the station's toast. I'm honestly not really even worried about those drones at this point, if that's all there is left. They're, they're not going to really be able to do much to us. So let's move in...
partially damaged too. Yeah, we'll, we'll let our own laser towers take care of them. See you, suckers. station. Not that it's really hurting us that much. Okay. Stop. I just want to back up far enough to get out of their laser range. there. Wait for our main batteries to cool down. This next salvo will probably take that, take it out. Are there any more drones around? Nope. We've completely annihilated all their drones. That's not an SCA, so Thanks don't worry about that. There it goes. Nice. Kablooey. Okay. So we just have the two docks to take out, and then I think that'll kill the station. Let's just kind of reposition ourselves right here. Wait for our main batteries to cool down, and then go to town on these guys. Um, the only thing I'm not... I don't know why these guys aren't attacking the plasma turrets. Um, maybe it's... Yeah, I don't know. Not really sure why, but it's not a, a major issue. It's just curious as to why it's not working. All right, let's take out these docks. There it goes. Danger. Well, that even tagged us a little bit. Okay, let's take the final dock out here. What if we put these guys on attack all enemies? Will that oh there they go. Okay. Now they're firing. That'll help. Stop attack. Okay. This thing is there it goes. Let's back up a little bit. We got full shields though, so we should be fine. Danger. All right. Is there still more left on this station? Oh, they're trying to rebuild the weapons platform. Look at that. Can we still take it back down again? Hmm. I don't know. Let's uh. Let's take out their their build supply though. takes out their build security supply. Forces. This is sector security. Comes general. We still have more down here that's still alive and gotta take out. This is gonna hurt a little bit, but we'll should be fine with our shields. Oh danger. Yeah, it hit us a little bit. Well that's it. I think we did it you guys. Um nope we not yet. <laughs> There's still more. Okay. 
We're gonna have to probably get down a little bit lower, maybe. So I'm not exactly sure what it's shooting at. Oh, that was the... Yeah, that was the weapons platform they were trying to rebuild. Okay. Um, it's still not fully destroyed, so... We gotta figure out what else needs to be blown up. Okay, yeah, I see some... a part of it... down lower here. So let's strafe down. I don't want to get too close, because then the explosion's gonna... affect us. like another connector there, like a cross cross connector. We did it! We can tell because now it says it's a wreck. Woot! Alright, yay us! We destroyed our first enemy station. And we did it all with the rattlesnake and a little bit of help from the laser towers. So yeah, next time, you know... I mean, I guess I, I didn't know what kind of turrets it had on there. I suppose I could have probably tried to determine that from the visual, but... I uh, definitely would have put the laser towers in closer had I known that they didn't have the 8.8 kilometer range plasma. Um, not, but I, I mean, it didn't matter in the end. It we. Thanks for your help. We we were not in danger at any point in time during that whole entire fight. So yeah, there we go, success. And who's this L Liu Kapoor? Um, let's take a look. Promotion to Servant of... Oh, nice! That's the Terrans, guys. We just hit level 10 with them. Fantastic. That's going to give us access to their military equipment and ships up to medium. Um. Yeah, they probably really like that we just took these pirates out. What What is our rep with them? Uh, Terran. Yep, yeah, we're plus 10. Fantastic. I didn't even think that, that was going to happen. Uh, Terran Protector Promotion Ceremony. Okay, yep. And then... Terran War against the Xenon. Uh, yep. All right. So we're going to have to go uh, do that ceremony. Um, but that's great. They're really great. In fact, I think we'll probably... Oh, wait a minute. Where are we at? Terran Protector. Yeah. That might give us access to, uh, like, the inner planets, like Mars, Venus, and Mercury, I think. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out once we get over there. Um, well, yeah, see, this license grants access to Earth and Moon. doesn't say this license grants access to Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Oh, okay, yeah, so we got the outer core access license. Cool. So that's going to open up even, you know, some, some even some more territories for us. And, and the nice thing I like about the Terran space is that it's really safe. I mean, there's like hardly any enemies over there, at least from what I've seen so far. So that's fantastic. 
All right, guys. Well, this was a major success. Um, we didn't lose any ships in the process either. Uh, if I would have had the fighters helping, you know, they would have, uh, some of them, we could have lost some of them if by, for no other reason than from the explosions on the station. So, um, who's this? Vanguard. Oh, that's Talati Company. He was probably coming to deliver something, then he realized, wait a minute, there's no nothing to store, no place to store it over here. Oh, that's great. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to check. What's our reputation with scale play now? I bet you they don't like us. Um, really? We're still just minus five after we wiped out an entire station? How does that work? I don't know. That's really odd. Um, anyway, okay, so our next... Our own ship is trying to deliver stuff to this place. How funny is that? Um, our next attack, our next assault, I think is going to be in Nopelios's Fortune. Or not Nopelios's Fortune. Um, it's the one where I mentioned it, I think, in the last episode. This one here. Yeah, Nopelios's Fortune 2. I'm pretty sure there's a cock settlement in here. See, there's a cock protector ship right there. So we, we're going to go find that thing. We're going to go blow it up. Um, because they're, they're a constant harassment on my miners in this section. Uh, or, I'm sorry, not section, sector. So that's uh, coming up for our next attack. Um, I am going to run over to Terran Space and get the promotion. Actually, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go all the way to Saturn to get that promotion. So I'll just hop in the scout and run over there and get that done. And then that, that way we'll be able to open up a few more sectors of Terran space for trading, which is great. And I th think that's probably about it. I've got a whole bunch of laser towers that I'm just going to have the Cerberus um, retrieve. I don't even I don't even know if we lost any laser towers. If we did, it was only a few. Uh, so I'll have him pick all those up. I'm not going to do it myself. It'll take too long. And, um, yeah, so this will probably be the last episode I'll be able to get out to you guys before I return from my trip. So, uh, as I have mentioned to you guys before, I am going to be gone for the first week in May. And there will probably be a couple of days towards the end of the time before I get back, which should be on May 8th, where there won't be any videos. But as soon as I get back, we'll resume and keep going in this awesome series. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.